Hello, it's Phil Thatch, and today I'm going to be doing some street photography in downtown Chattanooga using my Fujifilm X-T3. I'll be using two lenses today, the Yashica Yashinan 50mm f1.7, and then a little bit later in today's video, I'll switch to the 18 to 55 f2.8 to f4 kit lens for the Fuji X system. So come along with me, let's do some street photography on a cold, misty morning in downtown Chattanooga. I moved the car down now to, uh, to where most people park instead of the roof, and you can see we got some kind of icy conditions last night. There's still some snow on the car, and it's supposed to rain a little bit later today. And, uh, you know, I, it was actually, the forecast was for it to rain all day, and they've changed that, updated where now it's just gonna rain a little bit later today. So I decided to come on out and give it a shot here at the parking garage. Level three is really the first level you can park here. Oh, don't have my mask. Back to the car. I got these cool gloves today. Heather got me these, uh, I think Christmas before last. Don't get to use them that much because I don't shoot when it's extraordinarily cold much. But while I was on the roof, I was in my light jacket and I got cold. So it'll be nice to uh, have on my heavier jacket now and these gloves. And I can put a hood up too if my head gets cold. So uh, it's time to get started with the street photography portion. Switching lenses already, I took the, the Nikon 35 off and I've put the Yoshika Yashinan 50mm f1.7. It's an old vintage M42 mount lens. I'm putting that on. And I've got some other lenses with me today. I've got the 18 to 55 kit, the 55 to 200, and I even brought out the 16mm 2.8. I don't know if I'll use all of them, but they're all light and easy to carry, so. I'm toting them with me. Let's get started with the Yashica. All right, so this photo might have been pretty cool, except for it's not in focus. And I know the focus peaking highlights were all over that man as he loaded that tub and all those boxes off of his truck, but it's not in focus. This one's in focus though, and I had stopped it down a little bit to get this reflection shot of the Pay Here booth and its reflection in the water. I think this is uh, Akros. And this is kind of a super ultra bulkified shot with a little bit of rule of odds and all sorts of uh, symmetry and things like that. It took me a while to get this shot just right and it still could be improved some. This shot right here, I stopped that manual focus lens all the way down to 5.6 to make this shot. And I'm still not sure that I have that gentleman perfectly in focus. So that's when I decided to change lenses. After shooting for a while with the Yoshika lens, Yashika, however you pronounce it, Yashinan, the 50 millimeter 1.7, I was really kind of struggling to nail focus. And I ended up having to kind of stop down to f5.6 to, to really bag it. Or maybe not, I don't know. We'll have to see when I get home and look at the computer. But anyway, I've decided to put on the kit lens, the 18 to 55, it's a 2.8 to f4. And I should be able to bag focus with it wide open which is much wider than f5.6. So uh, also, in, in, in case you ever wonder, when I'm downtown, I am always end up at the aquarium, and here's the reason. Right over there in that building is a public restroom that is open. You know, a lot of times downtown, you can walk around and there's no place to go to the bathroom, and I usually, on the way downtown, have a giant cup of coffee, so I have to stay pretty close to here because that's where the restroom is. So uh, let's get started with the 18 to 55 Fuji lens. These fellows were working directly in front of the IMAX theater, laying down new tile there. As you can see, some of it's laid down and some of it isn't. And I made this photograph and I went all the way into the parking garage and all the way up to my car. And I decided, you know what? I've got to go back and get down low and make a shot of these guys. So this is the down low shot after going all the way to the garage to have a, a few sips of coffee. I came back and made this lower angle shot. I'm sitting here on the side of the road, had to change batteries in the X-T3. Uh, gosh, I really, I don't think I've ever done a lot of street photography before with this lens, the 18-55 to kit lens. 
but it is fantastic fantastic of course I said in another video that it has a 23 a 35 and a 50 the three uh, focal lengths that most people use in prime lenses for street photography and you know it even all the way at 55 it's only an f4 so gosh you know it, it's got I like to shoot wide open I like that separation between the subject and the background and you know I could I could use those manual primes and I'll probably eat my words and use those manual primes again but I was this morning I don't know maybe I'm sleepy or maybe I'm just not good at it but this morning I was really struggling to focus and as soon as I put this 18 to 55 on things just got much much better there goes my phone dinging but uh, anyway this lens is working really good now somebody is parking right here and I'm gonna take a picture of them as they go into this hotel maybe Maybe not. I, I actually stopped right here and got a picture of a FedEx driver as he was getting out of his truck in this exact spot, and my battery died. So I went ahead and changed batteries. Morning. Yep, I think that picture will work. So uh, we'll continue, and I'll show you that FedEx picture and the picture I just made and some more. This is another low angle shot and I really wanted to get the FedEx man as he was walking across the sidewalk, but the battery in the camera died. I made this shot and that was it, right as he was trying to close the door and get going. And this next shot sitting in the exact same spot, this is the gentleman who parked his car and I made his photograph as you saw me make his photograph in the last video clip as he was walking into the hotel where the FedEx man walked in. I made my way down Chestnut Street all the way to 8th Street and 8th and Market, which is one block in that direction um, from Chestnut Street. Now I'm one block in this direction from Chestnut Street on Pine. But 8th and Market is one of my favorite intersections. You can see the dome building in the distance uh, looking that way. And looking this way, you can see what is now the West End Hotel. It used to be the Blue Cross Blue Shield building before they outgrew it. And uh, I... I've made some photographs here. The Umbrella Alley is, is one block up and a little bit to the right. Uh, the City Park parking garage is right around here. A lot of places that I've done a lot of photography. And uh, I waited right here. There was, a, there was a bread truck waiting to unload. And I waited forever for that guy to get his wares out to try to take a picture of him crossing the street. And he went that way. So uh, that messed that up. And then I came over here and I made some photographs of this beautiful fountain in front of the West End that's right over here. So I'll show you those now and then I'll keep working. A lot of street photographers share their art on Instagram and on Instagram a square crop is the best but because the place where I share my work is YouTube I have the freedom to do all sorts of different aspect ratios including this 16 by 7 aspect ratio shot of this gentleman as he's walking by a yellow arch. Now on this shot, uh, I think my buddy David has made a shot right here and there's a, I got a little mistake there. You can actually see me reflected in the glass. And another mistake, I wasn't pointing perfectly at this door so it's not perfectly squared up. I have it level, but it's not squared up. So next time I do this shot, I need to concentrate more. Here's Chattanooga's famous Umbrella Alley. Apparently lots of cities have an alley like this these days, but it's a lot of maintenance. There's almost always one umbrella hanging upside down. This photo came out pretty cool. A nice black and white shot of this gentleman as he's drinking coffee. It's nice to get somebody doing something and that something be something besides looking at a cellular phone. But I thought this photograph came out kind of nice. This is one of the businesses that's across the street from the Umbrella Alley. And I looked through the glass and made a photograph of this lady and she looked right at me. So I just started waving at her and she smiled. I, I mean, you couldn't really see her smile because of the mask, but I'm pretty sure she was smiling and waved back. And I failed to get a photograph of the smile and wave, but this photo came out pretty nice. And I really like the way this photo came out. It, even though it does have the reflection of me in the glass, it's like, I'm the frame around this gentleman down at the end of the bar having his coffee because in the middle where he is you can't see my reflection but you can see the road behind me reflected you can see someone leaning on a building across the street really neat and this is the photograph of the gentleman 
uh, who was working for the bakery bringing some bread, and I was really hoping he would walk across the street left to right, but instead he went around the front of his truck to the left, and uh, that's not the shot I was hoping for, but this shot still turned out pretty cool. I like the way it turned out. And now this is that fountain that's right there in front of the West End Hotel that I showed you in the previous clip. And it was really, really beautiful. And I decided to go ahead and make this photograph of it using the fountain with some leading lines. I'm still continuing with the Fuji 18 to 55. I walked all the way back on Broad Street and this one photograph came out pretty good. I was sitting down for this one for a low angle of this lady as she was checking her phone with the Tivoli Theater sign in the background. And I think uh, I was about another half a block closer to the Tivoli sign and standing up when I made this photograph of this gentleman. You can see that I'm definitely on Broad Street with the island and trees in the middle of the road. I love Broad Street. Well, I've made it all the way back to the car now. I went, I was at 8th Street and um, Pine, I think, last time I talked to you. And I came all the way back down and went all the way to the aquarium to use the restroom again. And then I came back to the car. And now I've left the parking garage. And I think I'm going to call it a morning. I hope you enjoyed the photographs. I had a nice morning. The mist is getting thicker and thicker. And it's, uh, it's starting to become uh, a full-time job wiping mist off the camera. So I think I'm going to head on home. But it's been a nice morning here in downtown Chattanooga. Uh, Heather and I, in just a couple of days, we're going to spend, uh, I think, two and a half days in Hilton Head, South Carolina. So that'll be pretty cool. Hopefully we'll be able to do some, some wildlife and some landscape. So that's coming up on the channel. In the meantime, thanks for watching. If you like the content, give us a thumbs up. If you want to see that future content, subscribe and hit the bell. And as always, I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye-bye.